Good evening, Debbie. How you doing? Hey, Matt, what's up? Hey, Exol, John F. Good evening. Hope everybody's been having a great week. Epiphany Card Collector. How you doing, Johnny? Tops Vintage, what's up? <laughs> this weekend, welcome to another Friday. I think tonight we're going to go... A little bit like we did last week, I'll, we'll have our main main Friday drawing that we usually do. We don't have any um, open tonight, so I may just uh, grab some packs to open just for fun. Um, otherwise, we'll move on to some pack wars. Um, this keeps this... Hope everybody can still hear me. My connection is saying it's unstable, which is weird, but okay. Hopefully you didn't lose me right there. Oh, that's good to see that Daddy Daughter Card Breaks did a video for Sydney's graduation. I was wondering about that. Hey, Muskoka Card Collector, how are you? Hey, if we get... Um, tonight we'll have two folks from canada on the live stream hey steve rademacher it's been a while how you doing how's kansas doing today hope you had a great birthday steve yeah it said was saying that my internet is unstable for some reason that is Hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> awesome. Good to hear that Kansas is doing well. Take these things off the top and hand me that red, white, and blue box. All right. Why don't we do a little preview? Yeah, your uh, Steve, your brother was here last week. He was here for the live stream, and he commented on some videos this week. So yeah, he uh, he's been uh, been uh, doing quite well in your absence, I guess. So I think uh, the packs that we'll open tonight, we're going to go ahead and finish off the cello packs of 1986 tops. That will be our little Friday rip. Always fun to open cards on a Friday night. So that is what we will start. Start the evening with maybe we'll do three of the cello packs then we'll jump into our regular friday giveaway then we will open three more packs and then do our special uh drawing that uh, i've started to do on fridays just for folks that are on the live stream hey zach sports cards how you doing awesome i'm glad that griffey showed up safe and sound I've got a whole pile of cards here to send off to everybody um, from the last couple of weeks. I've just been kind of collecting them up so that uh, shipping won't be so much on things. Cool. So after we open our uh, second stack of three 1986 Tops packs, then we'll do our special drawing for the week. And then after that, we will do seven rounds of Pack Wars tonight. I thought that would be fun to do. So that's uh, where we'll get started. Hmm. 
All right. Here we go with some 1986 tops to finish things off. Bear with me just one moment. Okay, here we go. This first pack is going to have a nice Greg Gagne on the front. I don't know who's on the back Be there, but let's see what we get from this 86 tops pack. There's that Greg Gagne right off the top. I'm going to get rid of the gum card here. All right, here we go. So Greg Gagne there, and then we get Eric Davis. He's a uh, well-known player from the old days. In fact, that's uh, this card. He had been up to the Reds and then back down to uh, the minor leagues for probably the second half of the season. So that's a nice early Eric Davis there. On to Veros. Hey, here's a White Sox player, Ron Kittle. Shaw Racing, there's our... Other fellow from north of the border, Muskoka card collectors with us tonight as well. So we've got a couple, couple of you here. That's cool. How have you been doing? Here's a Mariners leader card. Frank Williams. Pascal Perez. There's a first Hall of Famer from this, Burt Blylevin. And I think that this is probably, is that Andre Dawson on the front there? Or Tim Raines, sorry, that's Tim Raines on the front of that one. Another Hall of Famer right there. Grade Worthy, how you doing? Welcome to the live stream tonight. Hope you've had a great week. Is that Andre Dawson? Yeah, I thought that was on the Expos card, but is he on the leaders on the back? Yeah, there he is. Home run leader on the back of that card. I've got a McCaskill and a Davis. See who else big we can pull from this pack. There's a cool Kirk Gibson. I always liked Kirk Gibson. Not a Hall of Famer or anything, but uh, just a cool player. Dave Henderson, there's another Hall of Famer. Lee Smith from the Chicago Cubs. Right there on the board. Here, how about that one right there? A Cal Ripken, ooh, nicely centered one. Excellent corners. Maybe one little touch on that top right corner, but that is a good looking Cal Ripken card. Pretty sweet. Put him front and center, I think. He's the best Hall of Famer so far out of this pack. Here we go. Alan Ashby is next. Frank White and Dwayne Murphy. DePino and Rigetti. Hey, how about Donnie Baseball right there? Don Madding. And that's another nicely centered, beautiful card right there. Great Don Mattingly. One of those should be in the Hall of Fame, guys, but isn't. That's a cool picture of him, too. I like that. Put him on the board. And we've got Mickey Hatcher and Ozzy Guillen from 1986. That's going to be an Ozzy Guillen rookie card right there. Sweet stuff. An Ozzy Guillen rookie card. Excellent. That's got one of our three packs into the books. Let's get this one with Kevin Bass on the cover. See who's hiding behind Kevin Bass. Yeah, my local Walmart, they've put the uh, all the sports cards and Pokemon and all that stuff is now behind the counter where they keep the cigarettes. And so the worker has to get them for you. So 
That's pretty cool, unless it's the workers that are holding the cards. That wouldn't be cool. All right, Kevin Bass. Nice checklist. Pat Clements. Go ahead and shout out any of your favorite players that you see through here. There's Brian Harper. Tony Phillips. Hey, there's Cecil Fielder. Popular player. That's an... That's a Cecil Fielder rookie card. Put him with the Ozzie Guillen rookie up here. Cecil Fielder's rookie card. That's cool. Sean Dunstan from the Cubs. That is going to be a Sean Dunstan rookie as well, I believe. He came up with to the Cubs in the first part of the season in 85, went back down to Iowa. So that's probably a Sean Dunstan card. Yep, Cecil Fielder when he was half the man. That is a funny one right there. <laughs> uh, Denny Gonzalez and Whitey Herzog. Mr. Nicely. Alan Nicely. Bobby Brown. There's St. Clair and Lottie. Mm, yeah, yeah, that is shady. If the workers are holding them and then they can't give you a reason. Yep, that's shady business right there. Hey, nice Hall of Famer, Gary Carter. Put him on the board with the other Hall of Famers. Gary Carter with the Mets. Hey, the one and only Bud Stoney. That has it been a while since we've seen you, Bud. How you doing? Hope everything's going well for you. Wayne Finnecum is in the house. Maybe we'll pull some Oral Hershiser cards for Wayne tonight. Wouldn't that be cool? All right. Rick Roden. We've got here Wally Backman and Yvonne Calderon. Rafael Ramirez. We're going to have a Paul Molitor coming up right here. Paul Molitor. Not the best centered, but still a pretty good looking card of Hall of Famer Paul Molitor. Bill Allman and Vance Law. Vance Law hails from my home state of Utah. Born in Boise, Idaho. And last I heard was coaching baseball at BYU. Johnny Ray and George Wright. And Danny Cox to finish off that pack. All right. We're going to open up one more pack of the 86 tops, and then we're going to do our Friday drawing. Got the Wheel of Names all ready to go. Okay. Let's get the gum out of the middle of this one. All right, we're going to start off with a John Candelaria from the Angels. Mike Jones and a Dave Sachs. Is Dave Sachs any relation to Steve Sachs? Does anybody know? The Gary Matthews card. Hey, there's Joe Necro, brother of a Hall of Famer anyway. Mark Sullivan and R Mike Brown. Love those shades. Check those shades out. Looking too cool for school right there. Is that his rookie card? Nope, not his rookie card. That's a rookie pose, though. There's Lee Lacey. There we've got Bob Baylor and Britt Burns. Brian Dayette. There's a name from the past. Storm Davis. Hey, Junior Ortiz. That's a well-known name. Junior Ortiz right there in his Pirates uniform. Hey, there's that Hall of Fame brother we were talking about a minute ago. Phil Necro. Hall of Famer right there. Oh, there you go. Older brother of Steve Sachs. That's cool. There's Sal Butera. 
Bob Kearney. Let's see if we can get one more Hall of Famer out of this stack before we move on to our drawing. Quite a few White Sox and Yankees in this pack. There's another Brewers card, Bill Schrader or Schroeder. There's Guy Eddie and Howell. And we've got John Franco, Mark Brewer, and Ray Miller to finish off that pack. All right, we've got three more packs waiting in the wings right here. And I'm going to uh, right here. One of these packs has a Wade Boggs on the cover. Hall of Famer Wade Boggs showing through on this 86 tops. I'm not going to open this pack. Instead, I'm going to add this pack to the uh, Friday only giveaway. This is one for commenting on videos. This is our live stream giveaway that I've started doing on Fridays. So this one's going to go in the stack of cards that I'll be giving away for only for people who are on the live stream tonight. That's who is in that drawing. So that's what we'll do with that. It'll take me a minute to, um, for that one when we get to that point. But anyway, let's move these cards out of the road. I think for fun, I might leave Cal Ripken up there. That's a good looking card. And the Don Mattingly, just for some eye candy in the background of our show tonight. How about that? There they are, Cal Ripken and Don Mattingly. Sweet. Okay. Here we go. So on the Wheel of Names tonight for the regular uh, during the week video commenting random drawing, we have Debbie Olson, John F., Epiphany Card Collector, Autographs 2000, John F. again, Kaysen 6, and Tops uh, Vintage 316. Our shuffle pack is going to be this 1999 pack of Omega football cards. Sort of a oddball set, I guess. So we're going to uh, open this one and see which card will determine the shuffle tonight. So let's get a random number between one and six, as there are only six cards in this one. Here we go. And the random number is five. So card number five in this pack from the top, whatever that card number is, will determine. <laughs> of course, I opened the best for myself. huh? <laughs> hey, to be fair, those six packs of Cello 1986 have been sitting on the website for sale for about two or three weeks now. So if people missed out on those, it's not my fault. <laughs> All right, here we go. So card number one is Derek Alexander. These are kind of bricked a little bit. Card number two is Wayne Krebet. Card number three. Let's take a look here. Hold on just a second. I have an incoming call. Just a moment. Sorry about that. I had ordered some food for my kids and the delivery guy just showed up. So I had to take that. Card number three is Hugh Douglas. Card number four is Jacques Green. And card number five, we have Priest Holmes. And his card number is 18. So we will be shuffling the board 18 times tonight so here we go 
eight times, not 18, eight times. Three, four, seven, and eight. Here we go. We're going to spin that wheel. Of course, whoever wins also gets the Holmes card because that's what made this possible for you to win, I guess. Round and round it goes. Let's see who's going to win this week's little giveaway for video comments. It is Tops Vintage 316. You are the weekly winner for the video commenting portion of the Friday live stream. So congratulations to Top Vintage 316. Let's take a look at the card you have won. So we have a 1990 Eddie Murray Hall of Famer. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Bear with me a moment. Make sure I've got the right stuff. Yeah, we're Got a cool, this just comes from 1987 Tops. It's the all-star cards that are inserted into rack packs, one per rack pack. There's a cool 86 Donruss Wade Boggs. And we're going to have a pretty cool Brooks Robinson. I think this is from 2007 Upper Deck, maybe. I think that's what it says on the back, but a nice throwback to Hall of Famer Brooks Robinson. Then a turn back the clock, Ricky Henderson from 1987 Tops. Here is a Dennis Eckersley from, a, from I think this is 1992 Stadium Club or 93, one of those two. And here's a true vintage card. This is a Rod Carew um, bat, batting leaders card from, can't remember, 1984 Tops right there. So a an actual 1984 Rod Carew. No throwback there. Here's a throwback Lou Brock, postseason preeminence. That's an insert card, I believe, from Tops. Can't remember which year. There's a cool Randy Johnson Diamondbacks card. I like that. That's a good looking card right there. Nice Randy Johnson. Here's a Kirby Puckett Grandstand, Donruss Preferred, Hall of Famer as well. A nice Don Mattingly All-Star card from the 87 Tops, and we'll follow that up with Hall of Famer Andre Dawson. And we've got an Ichiro from Tops Big League. I think that's 2020 Tops Big League. And then a Nolan Ryan Baseball Heroes card. I think those are from the 1991 Upper Deck. So those are pretty cool. Then we're going to throw in a Craig Biggio rookie card from 1989 Donruss, as well as from that same year, a cool Ricky Henderson. So that is the card package going out to Tops Vintage. Congratulations on that. Okay, let me just make sure I put your name on it here so I don't send it to the wrong person. All right. There we go. Tops Vintage. <laughs> you PC all of those. That is awesome. I'm glad to hear it. That is cool. I like it when things work out. When the person that, that wins these things is actually collecting them. That's really cool. So and at any rate, you also get the Priest Holmes card go with that. All right. Let's jump into our last two packs of 86 tops. As I said earlier, the one with Wade Boggs on the cover is part of the Friday live stream giveaway. So let's open this one with Scott Thompson on the cover and see who we can pull. All right. Let us see. Sorry, I have all kinds of things coming in on my phone tonight, which is kind of 
crazy. I have a client coming in for my other job to pick some things up. All right, here we go. We got Scott Thompson off the top. And we'll get a nice Twins Leaders card. I don't know who that is and what they lead. But at any rate, that's probably not Kirby Puckett. Could be Gaetti or Herbeck or mm, Tom Bernanski. So since he's a runner and not a pitcher, can't recognize him. Darnell Coles. There's Daryl Sconiers. Ron Washington and a Jose Uribe. Some Reds leaders here. Jose Rio. There's Dick Hauser. And Nelson Simmons. No Hall of Famers yet. Frank Tanana and Jeff Calhoun. And who we got? Dodgers leaders. Rob Wilfong. Bill Cottle. Boy, this pack is not giving us many. It's going to have to really redeem itself with a big name at the end of this pack if it wants to even be on our list of fun. Rick Rischel, Tom Waddell, Stenhouse, and, well, Don Baylor. He's a well-known guy. Bruce Bocci. Hey, C-3PO speaks that language. Dennis Lamp, Roger McDowell, and Rick Cerrone. Gary Maddox and Randy Hunt. Well, that was an unimpressive pack of cards right there. Okay. Final pack of 86 tops for the night. We've got Andre Robertson on the bottom. Get the gum out of here. Mickey Hatcher. There you go. Bob Stanley to start things off. Hey, bud. Much love back to you, man. It's nice to see you. You might win the little drawing tonight if you stick around. And we're doing some pack wars in a few minutes, too. If you want to hang out for that. There's McMurdy and Rule. Oh, you're unable to hear. No sound for you? Huh. There's Desa and Little. Lee Tunnel. Look at those glasses. Those are definitely 80s glasses. Cover half the person's face. There's Campbell. Uh, Al Oliver and Bob Welch. There's a Dotson. Let's see. Frank Wills and Moreland. And we've got a Bob Dernier and Sammy Khalifa. Boy, this is another slow pack. Wow. We got all the Hall of Famers in that first pack. And none in these packs. Anduhar and Hatcher. Zane Smith and Lansford. There's McWilliams and Wynn. Mosby and Robertson. Wow. Whew. Those last two packs were always quiet, quiet. <laughs> nice shades there, Matt. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Give me a moment here, and I'm going to build a wheel of names for this gift that is a Friday live stream only kind of deal. So let, give me a second here. Talk among yourselves. Um, I'll give you a, a topic. Um, the Chicago Cubs. You can talk about the Chicago Cubs for a few minutes while I do this, and i um, I better warn you, no, nothing bad about the Cubs. I don't want to hear that. There we go. Getting this thing filled in with all of you wonderful people. Putting John F. on the list. 
Epiphany going on the list right now. Got Debbie O and Matt Chris and X Zol on there. Tops Vintage getting on the wheel. Muskoka Cards getting on there. And we got Steve Rademacher getting on the list here. Now we've got Zach's cards on that wheel. Shaw Racing, you are on the wheel. Braid Worthy getting put there. <laughs> Steve, be nice now. <laughs> Cubs, who are the Cubs? Never heard of them. Braid Worthy's on the list. Then we've got the one and only Bud Stoney on the list. And lastly, but not least, Wayne Finnicum is on the wheel. There we go. I've got everybody on the wheel now. Why don't I grab a pack of cards for shuffling purposes? All right. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to open up this pack of Don Russ for our shuffling number. Let me get to my randomizer real quick. There are 15 cards in this pack. So I have to get a number between 1 and 15. Here we go. That number is 1. So the first card off the top. Oh, hey, Warcraft Ohio. Let me get you on the list. We're doing a uh, drawing. Nice to see you. I don't know if you are a uh, baseball fan, but uh, <laughs> it's that lesser Chicago team. Uh-oh. Okay, let, let, let's see. When's the last time the Brewers won the World Series versus last time the uh, Cubs won the World Series? Okay. Anyway, Warcraft, Ohio. Getting you on my list here. Bear with me a moment. Warcraft, Ohio. Now, what you could win is a stack of baseball cards. I don't know. <laughs> Debbie, yeah, you, you got to keep us away from each other. There, there's going to be some blows. <laughs> uh, Steve, always the joker out there. We love him. Love him, love him. <laughs> Here we go. Warcraft Ohio is in the mix now. Card number one is Dave Meads. How about this? Before we even look through the rest of this pack, I am going to add this pack to the stack of cards to be given away in this little drawing. So let's see what's on the board. We're going to uh, shuffle two times on the wheel. Let me get that shuffled now. That's one and that's two. Before we spin, I'm going to see who's in this pack. Jerry Royce and Sherman Corbett, Jeff Russell, Dave West, Ricks Hudler, Walt Weiss. Hmm, sorry, I didn't grab a better pack for everybody. Rick Roden and Bruce Hurst and Pat Sheridan. Yeah, sorry. Ugh, I was hoping something good would come out of that pack to give away, but that's all right. There's some other good stuff here to be given away. So now let us... Ooh, this thing. Here we go. The wheel is spinning now. Let's see who wins tonight's Friday live stream giveaway. And the winner tonight is going to be none other than Wayne Finnicum. Wayne Finnicum, you have won Fan Friday giveaway. Excellent. So you're going to get that little stack of Donruss cards, which weren't too impressive. Sorry about that. You're also going to get the 1986 Tops Pack, Cello Pack, with Wade Boggs showing on the front of the pack. So nice Hall of Famer in the window there. Then you're also taking home this cool Don Mattingly card from, I think it's 93 Leaf. 
1991 Leaf Don Mattingly. This is a little throwback. Well, not a throwback. Anyway, some Hall of Famers here. How about a Kurt Schilling rookie from 89 Donruss? And this has Griffey and Bagwell, or no, uh, Mike Messina on there, I think is who that is. Oh, Mike Piazza. Got Mike Piazza and Griffey on the front of that one for you. And we got a Schilling rookie. And then how about this cool Bo Jackson? I really like this card. This is a Leaf from 1993, Bo Jackson. And also a, another Bo Jackson. This is a throwback one from last year's Don Russ. And last but not least, you are going to get the Grim Rippers name card. We're going to throw in a Topps Jason Kendall. That is the Grim Rippers name card right there. Can't remember what year that's from, but a cool Jason Kendall for you. All right. Get your name on those cards so I can get them sent out to you. Congratulations, Wayne. All right. Aim on that stack of cards. You know, if anyone can get their hands on, hey, mess of things, can get their hands on a Jason Kendall Chicago Cubs jersey, I would buy that. He was with them for half a season. I can't even remember when it was. It's been a long time ago. But I would love to have an official Jason Kendall Cubs jersey. If anybody sees one of those for sale or knows anybody who has one, I would love to get it. They don't, he was there for such a short time that, you know, it was hard to get one. <laughs> okay, here we go. Those are all the drawings for the night. A mess of things. You just missed the drawing for uh, folks that were on the live stream tonight. But I know you're probably off working your tail off doing deliveries tonight. So I do appreciate you dropping in for a few minutes. We're about to start some pack wars. And I've got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 15 people who have made it to the live stream tonight. I'm ran getting a random number of two. That's going to be Matt Chris. You are going to be the first person in the pack war tonight. We're going to go back to the 1990. Upper deck, because I have a bunch of it. The first card we're going to give away tonight is that Cal Ripken card that we pulled from the 86 tops just this evening. Let's get you a... Um, challenger here. We'll use the random generator again and get number four. So John F., you are the challenger in this first round of pack wars tonight. All right. Now remember, the goal is to stay king of the hill. A game issued jersey, huh? Hmm, I'll have to check that out. All right, here we go. Let's do, since we've got Cal Ripken and he is the Iron Man of baseball, we're gonna do most games played be they pitcher or batsman. Most game career. We have Chris, Matt Chris. This is your pack. So let's hope for some longtime players. Lee Gutterman, 159 games. Let me adjust this light a little bit. I think it's shining right on the screen. There we go. Lee Gutterman. There's a Cardinals. We've got two games. Lee Gutterman had 159. Yeah, Nolan Ryan card. Exactly. Mac, okay, Mackey has 146. Here we go. Milt Thompson has eight. What is that? 621. That's the biggest number so far. 621. Who we got here? Terry Shumpert. That won't do. Mike Krukow, 117. Not many on that guy. 
Who's this? Mike Morgan. 79 games. 621 for Thompson. And we're going to have two young players, it looks like. 52 games and no major league games. So the number to beat is 621 from Milt Thompson. All right, John F., you need to beat 621 games to uh, take this round and be the king of the hill. Here we go. Here we go. We've got Scott Bradley with 413. Padres card. Who's that? Tapani with two, no, eight games, sorry. Uh, four games there. Pina, 281, that won't do it. 260 won't do it from Treadway. Hey, check this out. We see this card all the time. I have pulled so many of these, but there are no stats on the back, unfortunately. RJ Reynolds. I'm not sure why I just like to call him the tin foil man. And he has 691 games that will beat 621. So RJ Reynolds, since he won it for you, Matt, Chris, you will get that card along with the Orioles card. So those are yours. Now see who else was in this pack just for fun. Bannister. Stillwell, McGrain, Wilkerson. Eh, nobody to really write home about, except that Nolan Ryan was pretty cool. All right. Congratulations to John F. You are now the king of the hill. So your challenger pack will go to the left side of the board here. Now from the Remaining people on tonight's list of attendees, I'm going to generate a challenger for you. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 more people on the list. So, so we've got number five. That's one, two, three. That's Muskoka Card Collector. You are the challenger, Muskoka card collector. How about this? In honor of our Canadian brothers that are on the show tonight, let's do let's do the most Canadian team players. So we're looking for Expos and who else? Blue Jays. So the most Expos and Blue Jays in a pack. Let me uh, get John F.'s name on his little stack of cards here that he is starting. Now remember, if you, you can stay on top of the hill the entire time if you keep winning. So here we go. We now have 12 people on the list for our next random generation. And we're going to give away... That Don Mattingly card that we pulled earlier. All right. We're going to let the champion go first, John F. We want to see how many Toronto Blue Jays and uh, Montreal Expos come in this pack. There's a pirate. And athletics, a Red Sox. There's one Montreal Expo for John F. Don Robinson with the Giants. There are the Indians, the athletics, the Cubs. There are the Braves and the Yankees. And we've got the Sox the Astros, and one Blue Jay, one of each for John F., and then one Royals player. All right, let's see if David Wells and Otis Nixon can hold the line. All right, 
Here we go, Muskoka. We need to get some more than two members of those Canadian teams from this pack. Here we go. We've got one Red Sox. Got a Padres. There's a Vance Law again. Boston Red Sox. New York. Got the Rangers. The White Sox and the Giants. Oh no, it's not looking good. Pat Tabler. Randolph. He's not there. We got the Mets and the Pirates. The Twins. Oh, ho ho. Check this out. Hey, this is that card I needed to finish off my Reggie list. Number nine of nine. Been looking for this forever. Awesome. <laughs> I'll put that to the side for me. Oh, sorry, Muskoka. The Canadian teams didn't just come out for you. Sorry about that. Looks like John F. is going to maintain his perch on the hill and he's going to get the david wells and otis nixon cards along with the don mattingly set those to the side right there let's see what shall we give away next 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 hmm it's always hard to choose what i want to give away do 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 let's do a because I'm feeling kind of fun, let's do a robber rookie. Rated rookie from good old Donruss, a Luis Robert. This will be a nice prize. Let's fix it. John F. is the king of the hill right now. We're going to put your stuff off to the right and let the challenger go first this time. So, John, you're to the right. We have 12 people on the list. Let's see who the challenger is going to be. Here we go. It's going to be Epiphany Card Collector. You are the challenger tonight. Here we go. Epiphany Challenger for the Lewis Robbed Rookie Card. Let us do... In honor of rookies, we are going to do the, uh, well, we might get a tie that way. How about youngest player? Since we're talking rookies, the youngest player from the pack. Here we go. Oh, and here come the Canadians right here. All right. Youngest player. And this pack belongs to Epiphany. Let's see. He's born in 1966. That's Dwyer. Or, uh, yeah, Dyer in 66. He's the youngest so far. Born in 1960, Kurt Young. Scott Sanderson, born in 56. Um, Hubie Brooks, born in 56. We've got, here we go, Sean Bosky was born in 1967, so he's the youngest now. Chuck Carey in 1960. We've got LeBrant, born in 56. That's like the third or fourth player born in 56. That's quite a few. 1963 for Greg Harris. 63 for Blankenship. Harold Baines, 1959. Hall of Famer Harold Baines. And how about a nice-looking Paul Molitor? Check that out. Paul Molitor was born in 56. And then two Expos in a row right here. Born in 61 and 59. So the youngest player from this pack is Sean Bosky. Born March 26th or 28th, 1967. All right. John, if you want to keep your place on the hill, you need a player born later than 1967. <laughs> All right, here we go. 1966, John Wetland. Hey, we've got the Mike Schmidt retires card and... 
Ooh, check that out. A nice Bo Jackson card. But there's no stats or birth dates on the backs of those. 1964, John Burkett. 1960 for Juan Samuel. Hey, Bobby Catalano, how you doing? Welcome to the show tonight. 1958 for Marty Barrett. Todd Hundley. Oh, there it is. Todd Hundley, born in 1969. He's officially the youngest player. That means Epiphany card collector, White Sox fan and Raiders fan extraordinaire wins the Lewis Robert rookie card tonight. Nice job. I'm going to finish on back a little bit, see who else is in it. Uh, let's see. No consequence. That Bo Jackson's probably the best card of that pack. All right. You will take home the Luis Robert along with your Todd Hundley card. Those are going to Epiphany. Congratulations. You're now the king of the hill. Epiphany card collector on top. There we go. That means, sorry, John, you got booted. But Epiphany, there are 12 people again to go against because Bobby Catalano just showed up, and I'm putting her in the mix. Here we go. We have 12 people all in here as well. And number 12, that's going to be Bobby Catalano. You are number 12. See you later, Debbie. Thanks for dropping in. Catch you next week. All right, Bobby, you are the challenger. We'll put this card over there. And then we have this pack for um, Epiphany Card Collector, who is now the king of the hill. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see what we have. Do do. Let's go with a uh, card to give away. For this one, looks like he's a hitter. Let's do most career home runs on this one. Yeah, she did. She was king of the hill for quite a while last week. That is true. And I've got your cards ready to be shipped out. I've just been waiting for more cards so that I can put them all in one pack for you, one package. And maybe you'll get some more tonight. All right, here we go. Most career home runs. So we want hitters, not pitchers. Here's a catcher. That's going to be 12 home runs. That's highest so far. There's a nice Ken Griffey Jr. checklist card. All right. He only has zero major league home runs. Zero major league home runs. That's six for Billy Ripken. Eddie Murray. Here we go. Eddie Murray, 300 and 53. That's going to be your top card for the moment. 353. There's Juan Samuel with 103. Outfielder with zero major league home runs. Greg Litton only has four. Got Leach. Gutterman's a pitcher. This guy is a pitcher. Another pitcher. And another pitcher. All right, Bobby. Good start. 353 home runs for Hall of Famer Eddie Murray. All right, Epiphany. You need somebody with more than 353. 353. Here we go. Yeah, the... Uh, I don't know if it's my internet or yours that's having the trouble, Bobby. We were having trouble earlier on my side. Hopefully gets fixed. Uh, all right. Epiphany. Polonia has nine home runs. Kevin Haas. Nothing major league. 20, no, five on that for that guy. Gary Carter. 304. That won't beat Eddie Murray, but ooh, Dave Winfield got it. 
So it's 353 for Eddie Murray. <clears throat> but Hall of Famer Dave Winfield has 357. So Epiphany, you are keeping your place on top of the hill. Looks like Bobby wore out her luck last week. But there is always next week. Always next week, that's for sure. Just seeing who else is in here. Nobody really huge. So there we go. Epiphany, you are still on top of the pile. You'll get the Dave Winfield card along with the Kevin Biggio rookie into your stack. Here is your challenge or your uh, challengers pack right here. We'll find out who that is in a moment. Here is Epiphany's pack. We have now 11 people on the list. How did John beat you? I don't remember. Because I had you on the right side and it was the right side card that won. Isn't that correct? I don't know. It's possible. I am old and sometimes do get things mixed up. <laughs> that is the case. We'll get it fixed for you. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Warcraft Ohio also, he said also that he, uh, let's see. You picked up the right side pack and said, John. Let's see. Hmm. Well, it was your win, so I'll let you decide. But this one we just had will let stand, I, th I think, since it was, I don't know, it's up to you guys. So I can certainly do that for you if you'd like. But as far as this next one goes, let me get a challenger for, for whoever the winner is. It's going to be player number eight on the list. That's the one and only Bud Stoney is going to be the challenger on this one. So we've got our challenger to the left. And Epiphany is going to forfeit that win to John F. So let me pull those cards out of the stack and put them on John's stack. So the question now, now to be asked is since John was the winner on that first one and main place on the hill, should he also win the Dave Winfield Cavan Biggio run? What do you think? What's the uh, consensus out there? I want to make sure we're being fair and good to everybody. So I think um, Epiphany, what do you think? That that would, would have been John F. on the hill. Okay. So what that means is John F. has been winning all night. He's still on the hill. My mistake, guys. I'm sorry. All right. So just so I get things correct now, John, you are on the right side here. That is your pack of cards on my right. And then the pack on the left is going to be for the one and only Bud Stoney. I don't know if he's still here with us, but that's his pack. So the one and only, let's do... Hmm... Let's go with something a little oddball. We always do all the normal stuff. Let's see what's kind of odd on here. Let's do a pitching stat and let's do most saves. Most saves. Those guys don't get enough attention when they get all those saves. So let's do that. All right. Most saves. This is the one and only Bud Stoney's pack. That's a designated hitter. That won't help. Here's a pitcher. Um, game saved, 66 for Gene Nelson. That's the top number right now, 66. 
Need some more pictures here. Who we got here? That's nothing major league there. Burt Blylevin. He, there we go. <laughs> He's going to be a hard one to beat. 638 games saved. 638. That is a big number. All right. That pitcher is not going to beat 638. I don't think this one will either. There's Dante Bichette. Let's see. Who else do we have? Jose de Jesus. Nope. Greg Lefferts not going to do it. All right. So 638 games saved by Bert Blylevin, Hall of Famer. Um, that is the number to beat, and I haven't even put up cards to win yet. Let me do that. Let me put up the and four. Mm. Let's us do. Do do. A freshman flash Gavin Lux rookie card. How about that? that will be our giveaway on this. So one and only Bud Stoney has 630 games saved from Burt Blylevin. Here we go, John F. John F. You need to beat 638. Oh, okay, game started. Sorry, we'll use that. There weren't anybody with saved games on those cards then. Guess they're not putting bullpen folks into the into the packs for some reason. Sorry about that. So we'll do game started. 630. Is that right, though? 638 games started. How many games did he play in? I don't know, because this says games 144 for Burt Blylevin. 144 games. Games started. That's a weird stat then, 638, but he only has 144 games. Well, we're going to go with whatever GS stands for because that's what we've been doing through these through these packs right now. Anyway, GS, whatever that means. Uh, that's zero. Uh, that's not a pitcher. Here we go. That's zero. Um, that's a catcher. This is an outfielder. Second base pitcher, GS, 353, not enough. Outfielder, outfielder, another outfielder. Here's another pitcher. He only has 16 under the GS link there. Sierra, pitcher, 50, no, 191 in the GS field. This guy has zero, and this guy, Perez, only has 176. So that means the one and only Bud Stoney is going to take that one under whatever GS stands for. So he's going, which is nice. Burt Blylevin for him. We'll get that put right there. I was hoping that would have been nice if it had been a Red Sox, but it isn't. Bud Stoney. Hmm, there we go. So Bud Stoney is now on the King of the Hill, and we have two more rounds that we're going to do tonight. Two more rounds. Here is the Challengers card. We have 10 people on the list so far. Here's Bud Stoney's King of the Hill pack. And we're going to give away... Let's see, let's see... Hmm, how about grab another little stack of cards here and pull a here. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do a double Pete Alonso rookie. Two eight. One is the rookie debut card, the other is his Derby rookie card. So we'll do a double Pete Alonso for this one. We have 10 people remaining on the list. Let's get a random challenger here. 
There we go. It's going to be challenge number two, X is all. X is all is the challenger for these cards. Let us see what we're going to do. Pete Alonso is a hitter. So we will do a stat. Let's make that stat hmm, most at bats since he's a hitter. Most at bats. Here we go. This is X Zoll's pack. Most at bats. So we want a long time hitter. Okay, Claude L. Washington. He's an older guy, born in 1954. He has 6,673 at bats. That's a big number. There's an Mark McGuire card. There's a cool Robin Yount checklist card. That's nice with the artist's rendition on there. Wow. There's 3,905. That won't be bigger. That's not bigger. Raphael Belliard with 997. Let's see. 2,100 for Will Clark. Mike Smithson's a pitcher. Jamie Moyer is a pitcher. Gary Pettis has 2,765. Matt Noakes is fairly young, only 1,188. Jeff Blauser, 688 at bats. So, Claude L. Washington, 6,673 at bats for Claude L. Washington. All right, Bud Stoney has his work cut out for him on this one. Let's see who you can pull. You want like a, a Ricky Henderson or a Cal Ripken. Who else would be a good one to get? Uh, I don't know who else is in. Hey, look, I got two of those. Two of those that I've been trying to find. Yay. <laughs> I'll just choose the best one of the two to put in my collection. Oh, nothing there. Hey, Wayne Finnicum. You're here. You're here for an Oral Hershiser. You finally made it. You're in the big leagues now, Oral Hershiser. <laughs> I never pull those guys for you. Oh, boy. Here we go. Let's find somebody with some at-bats here for the one and only Bud Stoney. Ooh, there's an Ozzie Smith. 6,507. That won't do it. 6,673 is what we're looking for, but that was a pretty good try. Sanchez is a pitcher. Pitcher shortstop. Not the shortstop we want. 223. Another pitcher. Jeff King. First base. Young guy. Mm, 215 at bats. Bob Welch is a pitcher. How about this guy? Wally Backman. 2668. John Candelaria, pitcher and a pitcher. Bud Stoney, you just got knocked off the hill. Claude L. Washington with 6,673 at bats. That goes to X Zoll. Congratulations, X Zoll. You're going to be the king of the hill for the last round. The last round of the night, two packs left. Here is the Challengers pack. Here is the Kings pack. Okay, we've got nine folks left on the list. Let's see who the final challenger is going to be for the night. Random out of nine is going to be number one. That's Debbie O. She's. We'll have to do it in her absence. So this pack is. Let's find something fun to give away. How. Let's see. 
<laughs> Let's do a cool Keston Hura 35th anniversary Tops rookie card as our final giveaway for the night. X Zol versus Debbie. And we are going to go with the um, oldest player. That's what we'll do. The old player has been playing baseball the longest, basically. I guess we mean they're the oldest player, but we're going to look for the oldest player. See how many gray hairs we have playing. 1957, Greg Lefferts. There's Will Clark. No stats on the back of that. Devin White. No stats on the back of that. Brian Smith, born in 55. He's going to be the oldest so far. 1968 for Scott Radinsky. 62 for Espinoza. I think last week, hey, oh, hey, 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 who could it be? None other than Oral Hershiser. Wayne Finnegan, there's Oral Hershiser again for you. His actual photograph, born in 1958. That's not going to do it. Jeff Innes, 1962. This guy, born in 63. And then... No, 1949, Rick Rushel, 1949, that is an old one. I think that's probably going to be the oldster of these packs. 49, there's 66 and 57. You know, Debbie is the challenger. Why are we not surprised that Debbie has some guy born in 1949 in her pack of cards? <laughs> Why are we not surprised? She has the luck of the Irish all the time, which is quite funny. All right, Exol. Do you think you have somebody in this pack older than being born in 1949? Let's see. Oh, that's going to be a tough one to beat. 1949. Hey, no kidding. How about three times pulling the card I've been looking for? That's why I could never find it. They put them all in one box. All right, here we go. 1965, 56, Juan Samuel, 1960. 1963 and 63 for Jeff McKnight, 65 for De Jesus. Scott Bankhead, 1963. Getting a lot of the younger guys here. 1963 again. 1955. 1960. Checklist. Jim Deshays. Oh, he might be an old guy. Nope, 1960. I thought he was older than that. Okay, 1963 and 1960. You were not even close to 1949, Exol. Sorry about that. Looks like Debbie is going to take home the Keston Hura rookie card along with her Crushel old card. All right, and that was our final round of pack wars tonight and that's also going to mark the end of our live stream for the evening i want to thank everybody for dropping by and hanging out and playing games and opening packs it's always a fun time for me hope you i hope all of you have the best weekend ever i hope everybody has a winning team this weekend and that you have nice weather wherever you are We'll see everybody on the comment boards next week and, of course, again next Friday. Thanks, everybody, for dropping in and supporting the channel. Have a great night.